So we will have a taste of turning Japanese today. Um, we know that everyone uh, in our club, if you like, likes pear cider and um, we've run out. So this one um, is one that we pressed in 2020, October 2020. So that one now is 16 months old. But the last time we tested it, it was still a bit fizzy. It still wasn't ready. So we'll give it another go. Okay, so you can straight away see, and you could hear then, it fizzed as we took it out. So you can see it's quite uh, gassy, which what we found with the one that we pressed previous year, it took nearly two years for that to, for that to go through. Oh, that is lovely. So it has got a bit of fizz. There is a bit of a background fizz to it. It's slightly fuzzy, not fizzy, it's fuzzy, I would say and with the bubbles that you can see in there. But it tastes gorgeous. Yeah. That doesn't even need sweetening. That's, um, yeah. <laughs> mm. Mm. Yeah, Oh, yeah. I think it's cold because it's been cut. It was minus mm. four last night here. So it's cold. So that has chilled, which adds to the appeal, I think. But I think that that could go. That could go in a bottle. The only risk we could have, I suppose, is that is because it has got that slight fuzz still, is whether it will gas in the bottles. But I don't. I don't think so. I don't think it's that um, yeasty that it will cause a problem. So I think that one's ready to go. What's it called? Well, that's a good question. We've got it turning Japanese. We could still call it turning Japanese. Mm -hmm. 